You know, I didn't grow up in a Christian home. So when I came to Christ just about a month before I got saved, uh, about a month before I turned 16, the word of God was so new to me. Did, did, did you two grow up with God's word in your life, Bob? Were you raised by Christian parents? I was raised in a church-going home, and so I did have a chance to hear the Bible when we would go to church, but that was really my only exposure to it. I didn't come to faith until I was in college. I do remember my girlfriend at the time, who is now my wife, came to me at one point. She said, why don't we memorize some scripture together? And because we were dating, I said, that's a great idea. <laughs> I thought to myself, well, why would you memorize it? I mean, if you need it, you can go look it up. But we were dating. So I said, oh, yeah, that's great. I said, did you have a verse in mind? And she said, I was thinking a chapter. <laughs> and because we were dating, I said, that's a great idea, right? <laughs> but I was thinking a whole chapter. Are you kidding me? We're going to memorize a chapter of scripture? And, th and then she said, um, I said, did, did you have a chapter in mind? And she said, I was thinking Philippians 2 would be a good chapter for us to memorize. Wow. And I nodded my head like I knew what that was. And, <laughs> and I didn't know if it was Old Testament or New <laughs> Testament, you know. But I said, oh, yeah, Philippians 2. Yeah, let's do that. Well, we, we got started. I, honestly, I don't think we got all the way to the end. But what a rich chapter of Scripture mm -hmm. that oh, is. Yeah. And I do remember getting to Philippians 2, verse 3. Which I, I got beyond that, but verse three just jumped out. Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind, let each of you regard one another as more important than himself. It goes on to say, have this mind in you that was also in Christ Jesus. What, what a great mm -hmm. truth. And, and the Lord knew I needed that reminder that I should not be focusing on my own interests, but on the interests of others. Maybe my girlfriend thought this is what my boyfriend needs to have memorized. <laughs> Focus a little more on the interests of others than on yourself. But that's, that's just a part of the spiritual endowment that has come from spending time mm -hmm. memorizing and meditating. You can't memorize mm -hmm. without having to stop and think, what is it? Mm -hmm. I, I guess you could memorize the words. But as you chew on this and as you, as you pull the sweetness out mm -hmm. of God's word, mm -hmm. what a rich blessing in our mm -hmm. lives. Yeah. Well, and it's living and powerful, right? It's, it's the Holy Spirit uses it to work. You, you can't help but be changed as Amen. you continually soak in yeah. the word of God. Now, Hannah, I assume you grew up in a Christian home. Yes. Your dad's a pastor. Uh, yes. Right? I'm very blessed to have grown up in a Christian home, to have come to know the Lord at a young age. And, um, and it's been a journey of a childlike faith and growing in my understanding of scripture slowly but surely and not knowing, you know, like you, you kind of look back and you're like, what, you know, was I really saved? You know, like, cause yeah. all the knowledge I've been able to accumulate, but the Lord was merciful and gracious to me at a young age to give me the understanding of a child to know the scriptures. Um, like it says in uh, first Timothy four, you know, from a childhood, you've known the Holy scriptures which are able to make you wise to salvation. Amen. to salvation, and it's profitable then for all of life. And um, one of my favorite passages is Ecclesiastes 12, um, and that was one of the passages I memorized for my last year in the competition of the National Bible. I competed for six years, and I was kind of struggling with, like, is it really worth it to memorize all the scripture, to know all this? Like, there's a lot of more important things in life, like a job and school and relationships. You know, you're thinking all these things as a senior in high school. And that one passage, Ecclesiastes 12, 1 through 14, just the Lord used to speak to my heart. It says, remember your creator in the days of your youth before the difficult days come and the years draw near when you say I have no pleasure in him. It goes on to talk about how life is going to be difficult. Talk about my age is what it's talking yeah. about. <laughs> when, when the eyes don't work and the teeth don't yeah. work anymore. Yeah, yeah I know yeah. what it's talking about. Yeah. And to have that foundation while you're young and and. I, I'm, I'm still young. Yes. Um, but starting to realize the complete richness of that foundation to have in the days of my youth as I step into uncharted territory and a world that is in chaos and full of confusion, um, to have that foundation. I don't know what the future holds, right. but I know the one who holds my future. Amen. And I can Amen. trust him and fear him and keep his commandments. And that's how that passage ends. Fear that's God wonderful. and keep his commandments. Praise God.